What's going on there, folks? Good evening. Uh, well, yeah, afternoon, late afternoon. Good evening to most folks out there. It is Earthmaster here checking in on the live stream on this April 14, 21 date, uh, 5 13 p.m. West Coast time here in California. The latest quake, a 4.3 earthquake showing up in an area of, uh, well, a region that we don't normally talk about when it comes to uh, moderate sized earthquakes there. Kind of interesting here. Let's go ahead and go to the latest earthquake map from the USGS right here. Let's go ahead and, there we go. A 4.3 magnitude earthquake striking out here around the region of the Panhandle of Texas, of all places. 8.5 kilometers below the surface near, it looks like Skelly Town. Um, I have been up here storm chasing around Amarillo and uh, uh, the Panhandle area around Pampa. Actually, I've stayed there quite a few times there in that region. Uh, uh, one of my favorite areas to stay when I'm storm chasing. This is a 4.3 magnitude quake. I'm sure, no doubt, people just feeling this earthquake there. Uh, happening uh, just a short time ago. Well away from the activity that's been taking, a pla uh, taking place over the last couple of days there around Pecos, Texas. Uh, that activity has been uh, ongoing for quite some time there around the Pecos area, but this four point uh, this four pointer up here, this four point three, kind of a kind of throw in a curveball in the mix here. Let's go ahead and check out a couple dynamics of this earthquake. Quite a few folks reported filling this already. Around, uh, let's go ahead and check out these reports here. Uh, looks like Miami, Texas, uh, Pampa, Texas, where I've stayed there quite a few times. Amarillo even getting in on the mix there about a hundred kilometers distance from this epicenter of this 4.3 earthquake uh, Pretty crazy, right? No doubt uh, looking at historical seismic activity. Well since about uh, well, Let's go ahead and check the key out here real quick. We're looking at the scale of uh, 1900 to 2015 4.5 and above is the lowest magnitude here on this scale. Um, looking at, well, I'll tell you what, not a whole lot of earthquakes up there around the panhandle. In fact, I see nothing uh, taking place out there around the panhandle. So uh, even though this is 4.3, just a little bit of below the 4.5, still a uh, significant, uh, well, I'd, I'd, I'd say some significant movement here in the area of texas here we just we just don't see it all that often let's go ahead and check out the satellite view of this earthquake that struck here a short time ago uh satellite view showing the uh earthquake in question that red circle on the map there of course uh texas oklahoma region a famous spot for uh fracking oil operations and all that good stuff Looking around the region, I don't see any significant uh, oil operations in the vicinity. Uh, in fact, I see nothing within a few uh, within the, within that <laughs> a couple thousand feet or so. Um, yeah, so kind of interesting there. Uh, Eight point five kilometers below the surface for that four point three. Something to keep an eye on. Um, you know, not unusual. Not unusual to see some uh, areas of uh, earthquake activity outside our normal, typical seismic zone. Uh, but uh, it's just something we haven't seen in uh, in a while in this vicinity. So we'll go back over here, close that. And uh, yeah, so going back to the all magnitudes here. Uh, Oklahoma has been seeing a little bit of earthquake activity. This is nothing new. Obviously, uh, we talked about that quite a bit in our past earthquake activity. We even talked about uh, the Pecos, Texas region seeing a heightened earthquake activity out there uh, right around the Guad Guadalupe Peak area south of there into the mountain range here uh, in a linear fashion. But uh, looking looking at the overall scale there, kind of kind of just a little, little surprising for that 4.3 to pop up. All right, <laughs> moving into the west coast of California, uh, looking at normal seismic activity around the region, a little bit of activity off the coast of Baja, 2.3 southwest of Tijuana uh, at a depth of about 9.6 kilometers. No major swarms, no major activity to report uh, along the uh, major plate boundary as, the, uh, as this map shows here. 
A little bit of movement up here to the north along the uh, Mendocino Triple Point Junction up here along the southern end of the Cascadia Mega Thrust area. 2.6 and a 2.1 striking side by side on opposite sides of the plate boundary up here along the Juan de Fuca and the Pacific Plate. They're obviously a, 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 a signal of seismic activity increase. 25 kilometers below surface there for both of those earthquakes, pretty deep earthquake activity. Pacific Northwest, relatively quiet uh, in, into the uh, Yellowstone seismic uh, area, Yellowstone super volcano, pretty quiet folks. No fear mongering here. We're not looking at any major seismic activity, any magma movement. Yellowstone is not ready to blow. Uh, looking at the tremor movement uh, along the Cascadia subduction zone. Let's see if we got this going. It's kind of early. Um, and unfortunately, that has not been updated yet. We're looking at probably another hour before this activity is updated. So um, that's going to take a while to update. As far as the rest of the globe goes, folks, let's go ahead and check that out real quick around the area. We're still looking at uh, just a little bit of increase along the Japan region, uh, along the Pacific Ring of Fire, right? This, that's this little plate, not little, but this major plate boundary here uh, that runs along the eastern side of Japan. A couple small earthquakes there around the 4.0, 4. Uh, upper 4.0 region. And some movement along the Taiwan area, seeing some movement there, uh, upper fours. But no major release in pressure, folks. I'm, I'm actually getting a little bit worried about this area for some significant movement. Um, over the last couple of weeks, we have seen ultimately movement along the west coast on the eastern Pacific, and some significant deep movement along the Fiji Islands area down through the Kermadec Islands area, um, all throughout the Indonesia, Indonesia region. But if I can spit that out, <laughs> but. The lack of significant movement here in the Japan area up through the, uh, just off the coast of Russia is a little concerning there. So I think uh, the more time that we see the absence of uh, say uh, 6.0 or above, um, I think the multitude uh, or at least the magnitude is raising here in this area. Uh, just, just pay super close attention to this region. I'm not even joking. Pay close attention to that region there. Um, other than that, folks, there's not a whole lot going on uh, aside from that oddball, you know, a curveball. Curveball out there in the panhandle of Texas. Maybe that's where I need to set up for my next tornado chase out there. Um, absolutely love this region of Texas when it comes to thunderstorms, but uh, earthquake activity? Yeah, just not, uh, not all that common out here. Uh, let's make sure this thing has been reviewed. Uh, looks like quite a few more uh, folks reported filling that. Uh, review status has been reviewed. Uh, 4.3 magnitude quake. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, did you fill it? Responses are kind of coming in a little bit. And I'm losing my voice, no doubt. <laughs> I'm losing my voice. Miami, Texas region seeing the brunt of the reported uh, uh, reports there. So... If you, if you were out there, guys, uh, let me know what you felt from this 4.3. I'm kind of curious. This is an oddball area for earthquake activity. I would love to hear your insight and your input uh, from this earthquake activity. Have a good night, folks. We'll chat to you guys a little bit later. Stay safe.